Well, I think if anything, social media is more here to stay than it ever was because in many ways we were, we're very lucky we had social media in place when the pandemic hit. Uh, because without it, I don't know what we would have done in terms of communicating so quickly. Um, so I think on the one hand, uh, you know, if anyone thought it was evil and awful and we should get rid of it, um, hopefully they're second, they're thinking about that differently now. Uh, it's not perfect, you know, it's one, I mean, social media companies are some of the biggest companies in the world. So there's definitely some moral obligations that those companies have and some ethical obligations that they have. And, you know, we have shows like, um, documentaries like the the social network and things like that where we can or the social dilemma that's the one that's just recently come out on netflix but you've got the movie the social network and you've got the the documentary the social dilemma and we also know that the mental health um problems in younger people has um has increased as a result of uh their access to technology um now that's not just social media that's gaming and uh, everything else, you know, the fact that bullying has moved online in a way that it wasn't before, and that's not all social media either. But I think, you know, you have a choice as to whether you look at things in always a negative light or in a positive light. I tend to prefer to look at them in a positive light. Um, and I know that, uh, you know, while Mark Zuckerberg's not perfect, he's probably not, you know, the devil either. So, you know, it's one of those things where you have to kind of say, um, you know, do I support a piece of technology that I think makes the world a better place for, in my view, thousands of women that I interact with on a regular basis? Yes, I do. And so what I hope in 2025 is that the social media companies will be even more responsible, even more ethical, um, that they will, uh, that they will, if they, if, you know, they will figure out a way to, uh, to continue to use their technology for good. And, and hopefully we can continue to move things that way. I think what, you know, we just don't know how long it's going to take. We don't know how, we don't know what the results of the pandemic are going to be. We don't know if we're ever going to be able to be back in the same room with someone giving them a hug. You know, I mean, are our kids even going to remember what a hug is? You know, that's the kind of stuff I think we're going to have to deal with culturally, you know, not losing our culture, um, because one of the things we've lost is the ability to go to the theater, and we've lost the ability um, to listen to live music, and, you know, we've lost the ability to watch live sport, and, you know, those are the things that will need investment and um, time, you know, and effort to bring back, because they're very important for our culture as a whole.